Hey there. Welcome everyone to the second episode of the Sparkly Film Channel. Ever walked past a tree so beautiful and graceful that it instantly made you stop and stare? Well, today we are talking about one such tree, Saraka Ashoka, popularly known as the Ashoka tree. It's more than just pretty petals. It's steeped in culture, healing, and deep-rooted history. Taxonomic hierarchy of Saraka Ashoka. Kingdom, Planty. Phylum, Streptophyta. Class, Magnoliopsida. Order, Fabulous. Family, Fabaceae. Subfamily, Datarioidae. Tribe, Datari. Genus, Saraka. Species, Saraka Ashoka. Let's get a quick peek into its botanical ID. Shall we? It belongs to the Fabaceae family. The same family as peas, tamarind, and wormwood. The scientific name is Saraka Ashoka, though sometimes you will also see it referred to as Saraka Indica. It's an evergreen tree, meaning it keeps its lush leaves all year round, and. It grows up to about 6 to 10 meters tall, forming a dense, shady canopy, perfect for a cool sit-down in summer. Fun fact, even though it shares the legume family, this one's all about ornamental flowers, not edible pots. Ashoka tree isn't just another tree in the garden, it's sacred. In Hindu mythology, it's closely linked to love, fertility and protection. Remember Sita in the Ramayana? She was held captive in Ashokvatika, a grove of Ashoka trees. That's how deep its roots go in Indian culture. The name Ashoka literally means without sorrow and true to that name, it's seen as a tree that uplifts the spirit, words of grief and brings joy. In many Indian households, especially during Chaitra Navratri, women pray beneath the Ashoka tree for fertility and marital bliss. isn't just a symbolic tree, it's a go-to remedy in Ayurveda. The bark is especially valuable. It's used to make Ashoka Rista, a well-known herbal tonic for women's health. It's believed to help with menstrual irregularities, uterine strengthening, PCOD and hormonal imbalances, even menopause-related discomfort. Beyond that, it also has anti-inflammatory, anti-ulcer and antioxidant properties. Some studies have shown that its bark and flowers contain compounds like flavonoids and tannins. The good stuff when it comes to natural healing. So, how do you recognize a real Ashoka tree? Look for lush, shiny green leaves. They are arranged in pairs called pinnet. Come spring or early summer, it bursts into fiery clusters or bright orange, yellow 
or scarlet flowers like lily flames on the tree. Its bark is dark grayish brown and relatively smooth. But watch out! Many nurseries mistakenly sell Polyalthia longifolia, aka false Ashoka as Ashoka. That one grows taller, has hanging leaves, and doesn't flower the same way. So, always double check. Want to grow your own Ashoka tree? You totally can. You can propagate it from fresh sheets, though they don't stay viable for long, so shower them quickly. It prefers loamy, well-drained soil and partial to full sunlight. It's also possible to grow it through stem cuttings, but that requires a bit more skill. Water it regularly when young, but once established, it's fairly hardy and low maintenance. Here's something important. In the wild, Saraka Ashoka is under threat. It's actually listed as vulnerable due to over harvesting, especially for its bark and habitat destruction. So, if you are passionate about nature, consider planting the true Ashoka tree in your space. It's a beautiful way to support native biodiversity and preserve a species that's sleeping away silently. The Ashoka tree isn't just about flowers and folklore. It's a living bridge between ancient wisdom and modern sustainability. If you have ever felt the quiet magic of standing under a blooming tree, chances are it was Ashoka whispering ancient stories to you. Like what you saw? Hit that like button, drop a comment if you have ever seen an Ashoka tree near you and subscribe for more green journeys into India's botanical wonders.